In a world full of scheduling tools, there's one hidden gem that stands out from among the rest, and chances are it's one that you probably haven't even tried yet. The software I'm talking about is called Book Like a Boss, and let me tell you, over the past three years, this has been a huge lifesaver for me in my business. First and foremost, the number one reason why I love Book Like a Boss is because of its calendar padding feature. So that means you can not only have certain dates and times available to schedule meetings, but you can also artificially pad your calendar to whatever percentage you'd like, so that way it looks like you're busy or free at random times throughout the day. So this is especially helpful when you wanna make sure that you're available to take on new calls, but you also don't want it to look like you're completely available and you have nothing to do and you're desperate for work. I can set not only my hours that I'm available to take calls, but I can also limit that time into other categories and even restricting the number of specific appointment types that I take in a single day. So that means if I wanna take one or 10 sales calls in a day, I can put limits on my calendar and that will prevent anyone else from booking additional calls for that day or for those time slots. This is really, really beneficial and it's something that you really can't get with any other solution other than if you had your own personal assistant. Something else I love about it is it can check multiple calendars for your availability as well. So if you have a business calendar and a personal calendar, you can have Book Like a Boss check those two calendars to see if you are actually available for the time slots that it's publishing. There's a bunch of other features I'd love to talk about as well, but instead of me just talking to you about them, let's go ahead and just jump into the software. Let me show them to you so that way you can have a better understanding of how all this works. All right, so here's the dashboard. So this is what it looks like when you first log in to Book Like a Boss. And on the main page here, you've got all of your different appointments. This is actually your calendar view on the uh, the left hand side here in the screen. I'm going to blur these out too so you can see, can't see all of my calendar appointments obviously. And then at the bottom you're going to see all of your recent bookings that you can um, uh, basically that have been scheduled through the interface so you can see all those in one place. So the other thing I want to point out too is on the uh, right hand side of the screen you also have this area that says revenue. So the thing I didn't mention previously is that if you don't already have a website, if you're just starting out and you want to be able to take appointments, be able to talk to people on the phone, but you also want to be able to accept payments as well, Book Like a Boss actually has that feature built in. So if you want to charge people maybe, you know, uh, for the, an hour of your time or a couple of hours of your time or for something else, then that is all built into Book Like a Boss. So if you're a brand new entrepreneur or if you're just looking for an all-in-one solution, this is a really, really great feature packed software that can really help you accelerate without having to bog you down with a lot of different technology. And I wanna show you what the page looks like, the booking page. So if we click here, um, it's gonna show a preview of what my booking page looks like. And this is fully customizable. You can change uh, the graphic at the top. You can obviously change your picture and change your name and title and all that information. So it's really, really customizable. You can also click on this contact me button. So if someone has any questions before they book an appointment with you, uh, then they can just fill out their contact information here and send you a message straight from this page, which is also really nice and convenient. Uh, the other thing too is on this right-hand side, or actually it's more of in the middle, this is the default call that I have set up. So if someone just comes to my page, uh, they would book my time to be able to talk to me. And you can obviously put in a description of what the call is to make sure it's clear for whoever is visiting your page. Uh, so that way they understand what the expectations are when they get on this specific call. And then at the bottom here, you have a typical calendar and you can restrict this as much as you want to. And I'll show you what those settings will look like here in a second. But basically what the, uh, the person would do is when they come to your page, they would pick a day that works for them. And then they would pick a time that works for them and also works for you on your calendar. And then they would be you know, presented with this pop-up window that asks them to put in their name and their email address and to book a call with you. So what happens on the back end then, once they book a call with you, uh, depending on how you have things set up, it will send them an email and it will send you an email. And for me, I have it integrated with my Zoom account. So it automatically sends me and the person that booked a call with me a Zoom link. So that way it's super convenient. All you have to do is just click on the Zoom call when it's time to, to talk to that person and you're good to go. You don't have to worry about someone setting up an appointment ahead of time and then you have to follow up with them and then send them a Zoom link, anything, nothing like that. So basically this is everything that you need in order to really automate your call scheduling process. So under the calendar section, we can click on manage calendars and I have this connected to multiple Gmail calendars right now. You can certainly add other calendars if you want to. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And right now they have support for Google calendars, iCloud, Office 365, Exchange, and Outlook. So pretty much anything that you could hope to connect to your software, you can connect it here.
And then once you have your calendars connected, you can really, really dive deep and customize it. So like I said, it can check against multiple calendars for your availability, and you can even change settings per appointment type. So if you wanna have different availability for different types of appointments um, and have those linked to different calendars, then you have the flexibility to be able to do that here in the software. If you wanna be able to create a booking appointment on your own, then you can certainly do that. You don't have to send people to the page if you don't want to. So if you're actually talking to someone on the phone, uh, or if you just wanna handle it for them, then you can go here, you can pick any of your appointment types, and I'll just do a discovery call here. And basically then it'll take you to a page and you can see at the top, it says placing a booking on behalf of your attendee. So what you would do then is you would do the same thing, pick a date and pick a time. And this is going to be your uh, completely opened up calendar as well. So if you have availability here, if you don't have it artificially padded, uh, when you do this, you can go in and actually see what your availability is. You can pick a time and then go ahead and enter their name and information there and get it all booked for them. When it comes to your availability by default, you have, again, a lot of flexibility here. You can add or exclude certain days of the week if you don't wanna take calls on certain days. Like for me, I don't wanna take calls on Mondays because Mondays are generally jam packed with other activities. So I don't have this on here. Um, we can also go through and once you have a day added, you can change your availability window. So if you wanna only be able to take appointments in the morning or in the afternoons, maybe you wanna do it on the mornings on Tuesdays and afternoons on Wednesdays, you have all that flexibility right here. And again, this is also going to check your availability of your calendars that you have it uh, connected to in addition to your time slots when you're willing to take these calls. So tons and tons and tons of flexibility here. Now I'm under the appointment section. As you can see, these are the different appointment types I have set up. Um, I only really use a couple of these and I have other ones that I was playing around with here. Uh, but basically, if you look at this one, for example, discovery call, we can click on these three dots and we can edit it, we can duplicate it, or we can remove it. So I'm just gonna go in and edit it. So this is the interface where you would go in and change any of the information that you wanna change on your booking page. You can change the title, you can change the description. Uh, you know, this is a full text editor here. You can change the duration of the call. So if you want it to be, you know, 20 minutes, you would set that here. You can set your padding here. So the padding is how much time you have between appointments. So if you wanna make sure you have like a 15 minute buffer or a 10 minute buffer, or you know, a 20 hour buffer, whatever it is, you can set that here. Max cutoff days is basically the number of days that you can, uh, the calendar will look ahead to be able to book time with you. So if you wanna be, uh, you know, make sure that your appointments will only look ahead for the next, you know, 14 days, you can set that here. Um, intervals, you can set max participants, you can uh, do the look busy percentage, which is one of my favorite features. So I can pad my calendar and even if my calendar is available, uh, I can make it look like I'm uh, you know, more restricted in my time because otherwise it would look like I'm available at 12, 12.30, 12, you know, 45, one o'clock, you know, depending on how my interval is set. So that, while it may be really flexible and easy for you because you have those times available, if someone happens to book a call, it might also actually make you look a little bit desperate and you're not actually busy at all, which isn't the case. So this look busy percentage is a really cool feature because it's going to artificially pad your calendar. So that way you can be available and it looks like you're available at more random times than you actually are. Um, and obviously if you wanna override that, you can, or if you wanna play around with the percentage and change that to any value that you want to, like I can just pad my calendar by 25% if I want to, or 22%, um, you can certainly do that here. You can also limit the number of bookings you take in a day. So if you only wanna take, say, one discovery call per day, you can limit that here. Uh, so that way it restricts your calendar once that call is booked. So if someone else comes to your page to try and schedule that time, that day won't be available anymore for them. Cutoff is another cool feature. So if you want to uh, make sure that you have at least a day to prepare or a couple days or you know a few days to prepare, you can set that here versus being them being able to book it that same day. Uh, maybe you don't want an appointment popping up on your calendar um, you know, within an hour and you have to jump on a call. You can restrict that here in this section too. And all of this again is dependent on the different appointment types that you set up. So if you have certain calls that you wanna restrict in certain ways and other calls that you, uh, or appointments that you wanna restrict in other ways, you have all the flexibility in the world to be able to change those things. And then once someone books a call, you can put in a default success message uh, per appointment type. You can also have it go to a different URL. So if you're integrating this with other solutions, like maybe you're integrating this with another uh, program like ClickFunnels or WordPress, then you can have this set to a different you redirect URL to take them to a separate page uh, that will show them additional information possibly. And I'm gonna have another video on that that can show you a little bit more uh, advanced features when it comes to Book Like a Boss. But just know that this again is a really flexible tool. This is where the meeting location is where you would set up your Zoom information here. Uh, you can also put in your address, your phone number if you just wanna get to uh, talk to them on the phone. 
um, or whatever other information here you want. You can also set up different types of reminders and follow-up messages. So if you want to remind someone uh, by an SMS text message or an email, you can set up those reminders in this section. And you can set up multiple reminders too. So for example, in this one, I have it set to send an email reminder one day before the event. And then I also have it set to send an email and SMS text reminder one hour before the event. So if you have a problem with people showing up to your calls, this can be a great way to get people to show up more to your calls with a nice friendly reminder. You can also set up custom email messages for your appointments. So if you want to set up a different email message type for confirmation or canceled uh, pending emails, all those things can be set up here in the appointment. And again, this is really, really advanced stuff that you know, if you were going to do this on a one by one call basis, you would either have to do it yourself, which would take up a ton of time, or you would have to hire an assistant. So this allows you the flexibility to have a really, really robust system for appointment scheduling without having to hire someone or spend all of your time managing all of your calls. This is the product and services page. So again, if you wanna be able to have one piece of software that kind of does it all, uh, especially if you're just starting out, then this can fit a lot of people's needs. So if you wanna be able to charge for time, for example, then this is one of the appointment types. I've got some built in here. Uh, so we can take a look at this. But basically, yeah, if you go in to edit this, a lot of the options are the same as on your appointment types, but you do have some additional options here uh, for payment options. So you can either collect online payments, offline payments, or do both. To collect payments, you have different payment gateways that are built into this. So you've got Stripe, Square, and PayPal. So again, it gives you some flexibility to be able to collect payments too, if that's what you're looking to use the software for as well. If you're wanting to do webinars or other types of events, you can put that into the events section. As far as what this will integrate with, I have, a, like I said, it integrated with my Zoom account, but you can also integrate it with Google Meet. You can integrate with MailChimp, Google Analytics, YouTube, Tag Manager, uh, a lot of options here. So depending on what your needs are, you probably have something that will fit. And if you wanna get really advanced, you do have an option for webhook integration, as well as different integrations with Zapier. You can even set up different coupons. So if you're charging for your services, but you wanna be able to have a certain number of coupons available or an unlimited number of coupons available, then you can add coupon codes to this as well and send those out as part of a promotion. If you wanna be able to integrate this solution with another piece of software, like say, for example, ClickFunnels, then you can certainly add an embed code here and then you can paste that embed code into your other tool and everything will integrate on those web pages and look completely seamless. So by now, I hope that you agree with me that Book Like a Boss is a really, really great solution. And if you'd like to try it yourself, I'll have a link in the video description below that you can go and click on. It'll take you to Book Like a Boss's website and it'll also give you a free 14 day trial so you can see if it's a good fit for you. Now at this point, the only problem you have left is getting more people into your calendar. And I do have a solution for that. For me personally, I think YouTube is the best way to get new clients because let's face it, pretty much everyone is on YouTube nowadays and it's the biggest opportunity when it comes to getting people into your business. So I put together a free YouTube launch kit. It has a lot of information in there that can help you get your channel up and running as well as the specific types of content you can create on your channel that will end up driving leads and sales and creating new customers for your business. So if you're interested in that, visit contentandfunnels.com and I'll have a link to that as well in the description below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more ways to grow your business with content and funnels. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.